Well, Taylor Swift is back in the headlines again, this time for building a 10-figure fortune, earning billionaire status, according to a Bloomberg report. We've talked a lot about the Taylor Swift economy this year, from selling out stadiums across North America to hitting the big screen with her Eras Tour documentary. And now she's out with the re-release of her album, 1989, Taylor's version. And I did a deep dive into where her billions now comes mm -hmm. from. Of course, you've got the, the value of her catalog, which she's also worked to get her master's back. So that helping. It's 400 million estimated, uh, according to this Bloomberg data. Ticket sales, of course. I mean, she went on a huge tour this summer. There's still uh, some concerts coming up when you talk about where she's going in South America. That's 370 million. Uh, when you look at ticket sales, and this is merchandise as well, streaming, of course, Spotify, YouTube, etc. Uh, that's upwards above 100 million. Then, of course, she has properties and royalty. So she's just stacking up millions upon millions upon millions to earn billionaire status right yeah, now. Yeah, and I also think maybe even the bigger takeaway, yes, she's a billionaire, but also just the impact that she's had on the broader economy, mm -hmm. right? When you talk about the fact that the Eras Tour, she had 53 U.S. concerts this yep. year, added $4.3 billion to the U.S. GDP. That's mm -hmm. according to estimates here from Bloomberg Economics. Breaking that down even further here, the final six nights of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour in L.A. estimated to bring in the city of Los Angeles, 320 million dollars. We know Taylor Swift was also mentioned by the Philly Fed and the Philly Fed index just in terms of the uptick and really the uh, contribution that her tour made to the city during those concerts, which we all knew went viral on right. TikTok, on social media, because so many fans were just coming to the stadium to simply hear the uh, hear the concert from outside. So we talk about the massive impact that she's had, and she's done a great job, right, of capitalizing on this popularity, especially this year. Yeah. Yes, she has been tremendously popular now for almost two decades, but when you take into Which account what she has done this year, it certainly is phenomenal. It's impressive. She's releasing, re-releasing her album 18, uh, 1989 19, yeah. Today, which we know earned a total of 10 Grammy nominations at the time that it was released. So she's capitalizing on the fact that there's so much attention focused on her following this era's tour. And then also yeah. not to mention the fact what she's done to the movie theater business, right? Yeah. When you talk about the box office impact that she's had since AMC right. released the era's tour in theater, so many people who went to her shows going and watching it once yeah. again in the theater is just incredible. And her crossover effect, you know, from pop star to just general star in general, when you think about even getting a mention from the Fed, Fed Chair Jay Powell mentioning how, uh, you know, what this phenomenon like her heiress tour has done for the economy. So, I mean, Taylor Swift is her own economy, basically. Yeah, yeah Powell did not dismiss that question no. when he was asked for it, <laughs> asked it during a uh, recent press conference.